Chapter 11. Welcome back, by the way, and welcome to another daily dose of history. When last we spoke, Great Britain and the colonists were coming to a boiling point with their arguments between each other. After the French and Indian War, Great Britain decided the best way to climb out of their enormous debt was to tax the colonists currently living in the New World. And as we all know, this didn't go over well with the colonists, and they started to protest and boycott in various ways, from throwing snowballs at soldiers to dumping thousands of pounds of tea into the Boston Harbor. Before we go any further in today's video, I want to lay out a timeline of what the next few weeks are going to look like. I'll put the timeline up on the screen for your viewing pleasure. Today, Today, April 6th, we are introducing chapter 11 titled To Declare Independence or Not. It's a shorter video with no review questions since we are just starting a new chapter. Tomorrow though is when things get a little bit back to normal. On Tuesday, April 7th and through Thursday, April 9th, you will have the usual video and review question to watch and answer. The topics we'll be discussing in those videos will be revealed on those specific days, so be sure to tune in. And speaking of Thursday, we'll be wrapping up chapter 11 by the end of this week. Yes, we are only spending a few days on this chapter. However, on Thursday, you will be assigned a journal response that you are expected to complete and turn into Google Classroom instead of taking a test. Now, because next week is spring break, that journal response won't be due until the Tuesday after we get back, which is April 21st. We've been working like crazy to try and figure out a new normal, and so I found it unfair to assign a journal response on the day before vacation. Therefore, you will not need to turn it in until Tuesday, April 21st. With that being said, though, there is no reason for you to not be able to finish this assignment on time. In fact, many of you might take initiative and finish it on that Thursday so you can be done before break. Then after our spring break, we'll begin chapter 12 on Monday, April 20th, at which point we'll be back to our regular schedule of daily videos. You may have also noticed that there will be no Zoom meetings for history on Thursday before break. Those will resume the first Friday we get back, which is April 24th. So to summarize all that for you, this week is chapter 11, next week is spring break, and the week after that is when we'll begin chapter 12. Now let's dive in and see what chapter 11 is all about. At the beginning of this video, I had mentioned about what was going on between Great Britain and the colonists. As a result of those events, people started taking sides. People who wished Great Britain did not rule the colonies were called patriots. They thought that Great Britain was taking advantage of them and believed that the colonists would have more freedom and security if they had their own nation. Patriots argued for their cause in speeches and newspaper articles. Others took stronger actions, such as joining mobs that attacked the homes and businesses of those who disagreed with them. So if you're wondering, yes, this is where the New England Patriots get their name. But back to history. These patriots would be the ones dumping all the tea into the Boston Harbor and protesting on the streets that Parliament was passing unfair laws. Overall, these guys wanted freedom from Great Britain because they were getting tired of being controlled without having their voice be heard. However, as with every argument, there are two sides and the colonists were no different. There were also colonists who wished to remain loyal to the monarchy and not separate from Great Britain. They were called loyalists and believed that the British provided order to the colonies. Some loyalists delivered speeches, arguing that America should remain under the rule of Great Britain. Some acted more passionately, carrying out armed attacks on patriots. Many colonists did not take sides because they did not care whether or not America separated from Britain. As you can see, both sides acted in similar ways. Some took passive and peaceful action and took to the newspapers, while others took more active and dangerous action in the form of angry mobs. And then there were some who really didn't know or really just didn't care which side to pick. So what's going on here? Is this all mass chaos and constant arguing that's never going to end? Well, not exactly. This lesson tracks how six important colonists dealt with the question of separating from Great Britain. Why did some colonists want to remain under the rule of Great Britain and its king? Why did others want the colonies to part ways with the British? Understanding these perspectives will be important when you learn about the American Revolution. This week we'll be learning about reasons why each side believed what they believed and the actions they took to support those beliefs. Before we do that though, we need to learn a little bit about what a loyalist is and what a patriot is. Because I'm sure right now the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear those terms is a football team and a Hufflepuff. So be sure to come back tomorrow so we can find out the difference between these and what the actual meanings of those names are. Guys, that's going to do it for today's daily dose of history. Like I said at the beginning of the video, there will be no review question today, but those are going to be starting back up tomorrow, so be sure to tune into the video so you can accurately answer each of those questions. Additionally, these videos are going to help you directly answer the journal response prompt, so you're not going to want to miss anything. So with that being said, I'll see you right here tomorrow.